to all those who dance with trees. And today I would like to invite you into a standing flow practice um, and into a tree meditation to really connecting with the trees. So if you would like, you can begin seated as you are, or you are invited to come up to stand at any point, you know, like a tree. I think some trees are sitting, right? You can kind of see it. Some trees lay down. So let's um, choose your tree. Maybe take a moment to just imagine into a favorite tree you have, a favorite kind of tree, or maybe you have an actual favorite tree in a place that you love. Oh, there's a tree that I love. Speaking of that, Bertha, Earthship. Yes. And yeah, also in my home that I just moved away from, uh, there's a few trees that I planted there that are flowering and fruiting. And when I left there, I sat and had meditation with them, as well as when we're at witch camp every year, um, there are some trees there that we connect to the roots of and to our trees back at home to help carry us safely home. So lots of tree love in my life, and I want to invite you into some tree love today. So sitting or standing, as you're ready, first we're just going to drop into meditation to just uh, let your body be at ease and rooted down. We'll meditate further to that in a moment and lift up wherever you're at, sitting or standing. As you feel comfortable to invite your eyes to close. And begin to imagine into your favorite tree. Again, either your favorite type of tree or a very particular tree. Maybe outside your home now or some other home. Maybe a favorite tree on a hike or in a park. Some tree, I'm sure, has stopped you at some point in your tracks to just watch, to look at, to see the way the light moved through its branches, the way it swayed or sung in the wind, the creatures that lived under and around and up in it. And the way that it's grew, grown throughout the time that you've known it, the way the leaves change, whether or not that's with the season or blossoming, fruiting cycles, and the challenges that trees have like we do with drought and weather and humans. <laughs> Through the course of this meditation, I will be moving into uh, physical movement. So just listen into your tree body, if you will, and make your way to standing when that feels good for you. For now, begin to sense or see your tree, the bark, the skin of your tree. its color and texture. And the trunk of your tree, its thickness. Its many legs as they disappear into the ground. And the lift of your tree from earth to the sky. With that, imagining if you will lift your heart, lift your heart, lift your heart. And imagine your many branches now as you become this tree that you see. Rising up from the earth, reaching out into the sky. 
almost sense back down from that reaching out, down, down, down into the earth below you, where your legs turn into many, many roots, dividing again and again, seeking through the dark earth for nourishment, for water. And your tree roots mingling with the roots of other trees, communicating about the waters, your chemical balance, the weathers, the bugs that are crawling on you right now, your tree vibrating, maybe even making knocking, ticking, humming sounds. It's been recorded that trees are communicating through chemicals as well as sound, vibration, surprise. And sense in to the way that your roots connect with the roots of your beloveds near and far as they expand down, down and out, out, out. And mingling with your roots are millions of miles of mycelia little mushroom friends, the wood wide web, connecting all things, communicating between all the growing things. And again, with that sharing information, sharing resources, trees knowing when one is suffering and, and sending their way, nourishment as we do with each other. May we listen, and may we do that ever more so. Listening to where there is need and sending out where there is surplus, where there is abundance. Sending it out to share, to support one another in our great family of trees in this wood, in this world. Feel down down into your feet, your toes, the roots of your human body connecting to the earth, to your tree body, remembering your tree self, your steadiness, the way you hold steady on this earth and know, the way you listen to that knowing beyond words, The way you feel and know your connection beyond the beloveds that you can see in any given moment. The way that you are connected to the roots of your ancestors, the bones of your ancestors, the nourishment of all of the teachings and practices and experiences that have come before us. Feeling that which you stand upon, the foundation of your wisdom, of your learning, of your strength, the literal foundation of your home, the trees under your feet, the floor, the earth. Breathing down into the earth, feeling that beautiful darkness from which we grow and change and find our steadiness. Imagine lifting that up through your body. Notice if you've knocked, locked your knees out or knocked them in or out or your ankles, your feet. How are you feeling in your feet? Just noticing any habitual things as you stand. We'll begin just some intentional movement. Just slowly begin to lean forward and feel into your toes, your roots. And slowly and gently, like a big, strong tree in the wind, gently leaning back, feeling that support of your roots, moving gently with your breath, just a little rock forward and back, feeling your roots, the earth beneath you, your steady strength, your quiet wisdom. And with that, the support that you give to others, the shade, the protection, <laughs> shade in a good way. <laughs> the protection, the inspiration. Now as inspired, begin to just take that sway of your tree with a little wind shift side to side. 
Breathing and gently rocking, feeling the inner and outer feet. The lift of the arches of your feet as you draw that earth energy upward through your body. Continue to draw the earth energy upward now. Let's do this with our hands a few times, if you will. Just draw your hands up, 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 and out. Imagine them becoming like great branches unfurling to the sky, opening up to the sky, lifting your many, many branches as you bring the hands up overhead and draw the light of the sun and the breath of the air back down through the crown of your head, through the many branches, down through your third eye down through your mouth, and your heart, down through your organs, your spine, back down into your roots, back down into the earth. Breathe up from earth, draw that earth energy up and grow your branches to the sky. Open wide and reach up tall. And then exhale and center and draw that sky energy, the light of the sun and the moon and the stars down through your branches, through your mind, through your heart, through your organs, your veins, your roots. Feel more like this. Simply opening, welcoming the light of this day and this night. Bring it in to nourish you, opening your mind to the sky, opening your mouth to sing with the song of the sky, breathing the sky down into your heart, feeling your heart wide and bright with sky, rippling that remembrance of your heart bright with sky all the way down through your roots, connecting earth and sky, following your breath to open and gather up. And centering in, drawing that earth energy in. And sky energy down to your earth. One last time. Inhale through the nose and maybe you start to make a sound like the wind through the trees out your mouth as you breathe. Let's pause and center again our awareness down into the roots. Inhale as you lift up through the roots. You could grow your branches to the sky, lifting the heels, lift the arms, top of the inhale. And as you exhale again, maybe that breeze. Branches flow down, heels flow down. Breath flows out. Continue in this way, four more. Heels, arms, breath, lift at the same rate if possible. And then heels, branches, breath, flow down at the same rate. Let's go three more times. Follow your next inhale, arms open to the sides, reach to the sky. And take hold of your left wrist, turn your palm to the sky and lift up out of the waist and side bend, turn your face down, soft jaw. Inhale and lift back to center, switch your wrists, lift tall as you inhale. 
and exhale with the breeze, a side bend, maybe a little snort. <laughs> Follow your breath side to side. Finish up so you're even on both sides. Inhale, stretch the arms to the sky. Exhale and float those branches down. Inhale, float the branches back to the sky and right over into your right foot as you lift the left leg up. Big and bright. Just branches floating in the wind. Long breath, long descending of the branches. Root down, follow your inhale. Branches rising up on the breeze. Couple more each side. Last that each side. Beautiful. Let's begin to play with that forward and back. Inhale, reach that right leg up in front of you. Exhale, fly it back. Tree in the wind, nice and steady. Couple more this side. Find your roots and take your time. Follow your next inhale, left leg up in front and fly it back with your exhale, strong core. Keep those ribs and hips connected, flowing your branches on the wind of your breath. You could root down every time in the middle as needed. <clears throat> and then feet down center, find your roots, exhale, empty out, inhale, gather up, exhale, hands to heart, center and focus in, feel that awakening in your legs, the movement of energy, circulation as you lift that earth energy up and open your heart to sky and breathe, sky down into your heart, imagine into the patience that you could imagine having as a tree. A long, slow, steady life, hopefully. Next, exhale, follow your breath, bending into the knees, slow and steady down to the earth. Let's make like a weeping willow here for a moment, if you will, and inhale and just roll on back up. Exhale, bend the knees, chest forward, seat back, sink low, spiral, or flow the spine forward, let the head go, and then roll on back up. Waves of breath, waves of spine. 
soft neck, heavy head on that roll up, really moving seat back and heart forward. You could even press into the thighs here if you would prefer to kind of get some feedback and balance off that. Let's go four more breaths like this. Maybe making that wind through your branches. Also toning for the vagus nerve with that. It's muscular action in the mouth. Two more breaths. Inhale, fly up, little back bend. Exhale, fly down, forward fold, flat back as much as you can. Over the strong trunk of your legs, bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, lift to sky any edge of back bend, engage the core as much as you can, and exhale and fly. Riding the wind of your breath, three more. Slow and steady, lots of muscular action in the legs, about two more. Let's forward fold one more time. Pause in that forward fold. You could hold your elbows and sway a little side to side here. Or you can let your branches go there and kind of flow your branches along the earth like a weeping willow swaying in the wind. One of my favorites, willows, birch trees, all the flowering trees. Relax your neck, heavy head. Keep those feet really strong. Hug your roots into the earth and just sway the branches of your upper body in this fold over your strong trunk. Relax the neck even more. Oh, letting go. Let's flow over to the right side. Bring your branches down, if you will, there. Press into your fingers on the right side as far as you can, walking to the right, and pull the left hip up and back as you reach down through your fingers, rooting into the earth now. Relax the neck even more and breathe. Deep breaths in the nose. Ah, out the mouth. And then take your time, follow your next exhale through center and walk your fingers over to the other side. Bend the knees as much as you need to root into the earth a bit so that you could push into the earth and then pull that uh, right hip or your opposite hip up and back, lengthening as much as you can through hip and side body. Strong feet root into the earth, relax your neck and breathe. And last inhale here on this side, and then we're gonna kind of draw up. You can even massage up or scoop up like a squeegee up the outside of your leg, drawing up, up, up to the sky. 
reach up to the sky and then let's flow on over to the other side down 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 side bend ground exhale all the breath out inhale you could bend the knees again as much as you need scoop up that side leg maybe a little pressure into the side leg reaching up 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 to the sky and over and down we're gonna go once again to each side Back up this side. And back down to the earth. And step your feet so that they're outer hip width and hold your elbows or just let the hands sway. Really hug the earth to the feet to the earth. Root down, feel all your roots, all your toes, all four corners of your feet. Get that little sway going again side to side. And then let's reach with that left hand, cross body to your right, push into your feet, inhale, open, lifting up, up, up to the sky. And as you exhale, big circle, right elbow or hand reaches across to the left and down. Follow your breath, big circles, two more in this direction. And take your time at the bottom, switch directions. And at the bottom, sink low. Let's take a little pause and a tuck. If a tuck is too much on your knees, please just take any edge of squats. You could be up much higher, bend the knees, support yourself as needed with any furniture or props. Otherwise, a little tuck. Hips back, heels root down as much as they can. Mind don't quite get to the earth still. And without falling on my butt. And then reach your head forward and your hands forward and breathe your back body. Remember yourself as a seed, a seed of great potential with thousands and millions of blossoms of potential and sprouts and branches of potential. And maybe you breathe here into a particular seed of intention or dedication, something that you are looking to root and grow and let's play with that. Breathing seed energy. And keep moving hips back. Let's begin to sprout your fingers forward, hips back. Press into your feet and lift your hips to the height of the knees. Hips back, fingers forward, heart forward, breathe. Stay strong in the root of this sprout and sprout the upper body to the sky. Lift the arms, face chest, sinking low, 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 Utkatasana. One more breath cycle here. Next inhale, press and rise, standing back bend. Next exhale, swan dive forward. Next inhale, half forward fold. And next exhale, bow and hug into your trunk. Hugging trees is a real thing. Do it. It's so helpful, both for hugs as well as if you are on a really intense hike and your whole body is pounding with your heartbeat and you think you can't make it anymore. You just hug a tree. It helps, I promise you. Inhale here as you exhale, sink low. Again, that slow sprouting forward, hips back, fingers forward. Lift the navel, engage the core here in a half, Utkatasana. Find your steadiness, the strength in your roots today, your trunk, your foundation. All that supports you in your growth, in your opening, open it up, Utkata. Lengthen through the spine in both directions, breathe here.
Exhale, sink low. Inhale, standing back bend. Exhale, swan dive. Step to the front of the mat if you're not. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bow and hug into your trunk. Feel into your feet, active feet, hugging earth, all toes, all four corners. Relax the neck. Giving thanks to your steadiness, your foundation, to all that holds you. Seat back, fingers forward, three breaths. Spur out the upper body up. Seat low. Two more breaths. Next inhale, sprout to the sky, reaching your branches up, low back. Follow your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, fold, hug in, relax the neck. One more time, steady practice today. Seat back, fingers forward, breathe. Opening up our body up. Seat low, feel your roots, feel that blossoming, your lift to sky, relax your shoulders, open your heart and mind, two more breaths. Inhale, press and rise, standing back then. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, hop forward. Exhale, fold, take pause, reset, relax the neck. Last breath here. Flat back, hug and rise up, gather up. Open up to the sky and center in. All right, playing into one root now or one trunk through one leg. We're going to hug in, pour the weight into the right leg. Lift that left knee up, squeeze to core. Inhale, keep that core connection as you exhale and press back, warrior three. Exhale, you could step down to earth if you need to or just pick that knee back up. Inhale here as you exhale, press back. If you'd rather to stay steady and not have such a windy day in your forest, you are welcome to just take pause in these poses. You could even extend that front leg forward again. We're going to have three more breaths on this side. Last time back. And exhale, step way back, high lunge. Hands to your hips, pull that right hip back, left hip forward, square your hips up, front knee right over the ankle, press the hips down, squeeze the inner thighs together, work your shoulders on the back, and lift up out of the waist. Breathful here. Inhale, grow your branches to the sky and melt your back earth down to the earth. Stay there, hold, or inhale, fly up, arms up, <clears throat> arms down as the leg comes up, and then arms up as the leg comes down. So three more pulses like this, or just hold that um, rooting pose, arms up, Knees down, branches up, roots down. Two more breaths. Ah, 
and back roots to the earth, land that knee, pat it if you need to, and bend deep into the front knee. Press down through the hips, root through your trunk, and grow and lift through your heart. Sink into the front knee as deep as you can here. Keep lengthening your spine in both directions, rooting to rise and breathe your heart bright. <clears throat> Stay there or grow your branches to the sky. You might hook your thumbs or clasp your hands and then give them a little pull, like you're trying to pull them apart. Squeeze the shoulders on the back and keep hugging those inner thighs in. Couple more breaths. Lie your branches to the earth and push into that front root and extend the leg long. You can keep pressing into those front fingers or draw those roots back. Maybe hold them with one of the branches and bow in. Keep dragging that front root back, that hip back. <sighs> soft jaw, soft tongue, breathing earth and sky through your body. Singing the song of the air, the wind. Feeling that aliveness, the heat of life force through your form. Last inhale, stretch it out. Next exhale, come forward into lunge. You could come into high lunge or from low lunge. Lift the back knee and exhale from wherever you're at. Coming back, warrior three. And back to root. Feet nearby each other, press down through the feet, grow up through your branches, and center the energy into your heart. Breathe and repeat your heart's yes, I am. Exhale, arms down, inhale, fly up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, and fold. And inhale and fly back up, gather up, center in. And pour the weight into that left root or your second side, right knee up. <clears throat> inhale as you exhale, press back, warrior three. Again, hold that steady if that feels best for you or use that exhale to hug into the core and press forward and up, inhale as you exhale, moving back. Three more breaths. Riding that sweet, slow song of the breath. Warrior three, inhale. As you exhale, step way back, high lunge. Square your hips up, root down, and grow your heart to the sky. Shoulders on the back. Stay here as you like, or grow your branches to the sky. Keep squeezing those hips square, and that front knee deepens right over the ankle as much as you can. Hug into core and inhale, growing branches to the sky. Root that back knee down to the earth. Hold here, five breaths. Or inhale here as you exhale, fly up, straightening the legs, arms fly down. Three more breaths, flying in and out or pausing at the edge there. Knee almost to the earth, fingers stretch up, soft jaw, breathe. Ah. 
melt that back knee down to the earth, rooting in, hands to hips, front knee presses, um, bends deeply as the hips press forward, shoulders on the back, lift your heart, <clears throat> lengthen your spine in both directions, back toes can release, pointing straight back, and deep full breaths here. Stay there, grow your branches to the sky, clasp your fingers and give a little pull and whatever hold you've got. Work the shoulders on the back, squeeze those inner thighs, lift the navel and breathe any edge of back bend here. Rooting to rise, really press into earth, hugging to center to shine and branch out. Follow any exhale to swan dive the arms and chest forward. Rest onto that front thigh and as inspired, push into those front toes, straighten the leg, draw the toes back, spread those toes out, drag your heel back, pull on the earth, reach your heart forward, long spine, bow in. <clears throat> And another breath or two here, any variations? Next inhale or so, come forward into your lunge. You can either work from low lunge or rise up into high lunge, back knee up. <clears throat> inhale the pose as you exhale, transition, warrior three. Level out hips as much as you can, side to side. Your shoulders, ribs, hips, inhale. As you exhale, step back to your roots. Root down, rise up, gather up. And exhale, center and focus in. Hug into midline. Feel that strength coming from the earth, steadying you. Your lightness, your freedom coming from the sky and let's grow, pour the weight into the left foot. Grow right elbow and knee up. And then inhale on the breeze, open the right elbow and knee to the side. Exhale, swoop, cross body. Once again in this direction. Switch directions. back to center pause here it is finally riksha to repose foot to inner thigh inner calf or ankle toes could be rooted in the earth still wherever you're at sole of the foot and leg equally and actively squeeze into one another and feel yourself grow from that rooting from that hug tall spine hands could be at heart or grow to the sky Relax the shoulders. Again, lengthen your spine in both directions. Deep, full breaths here. Find a drishti, a gaze, a point that's not moving and focus your gaze to that point. Soften your eyes, your tongue, your jaw. Keep squeezing to center, lots of core to support you. If you feel stable here, maybe you challenge it, lifting the heart a little more. Maybe you challenge it, closing the eyes for a moment. Maybe you challenge it with a little wind through your branches and just find a sway in your tree where the upper body is dancing and that trunk of support is steady, if not wobbling, but nonetheless steady, holding you. Even if you fall out, you can come back. Stay, play, take a break, or squeeze to center, lift and spiral, twisted tree. Left hand to right thigh, right hand behind you. Hug in, lift tall, look behind you and breathe.
probably your legs are burning. That's okay, we're almost done on this side. Come on back to center if you need to release, if you're able to ankle over knee, last little bit on this side. Press down through the thighs, lengthen through your spine, soft jaw, sink low in your seat, maybe elbow to ankle and knee, spine long. <clears throat> stay there, or you could sink lower, stay there, or maybe hands to earth and hook those right toes super strong on that left tricep, root your fingers, pull that earth energy up, and maybe lift your back foot up. And then make your way back to center. When you're ready, unwind, pause in a forward fold. You can give your legs a little squeeze, a little free massage moment there. Nice job, legs, thank you. Ground down, hug in. <clears throat> Use that rooting and hugging to roll or fly up. At the top, gather up. And center and focus in. Pour the weight into the right foot or your second side. Hug in strong core and grow. Left elbow and knee up. Branches in the wind, inhaling open. Exhaling cross body. <clears throat> Off to three in one direction, switch directions, three breaths. Come to center as you're ready. Toes to the earth or foot way up on the upper inner thigh, anywhere in between, as long as you're equally actively squeezing to center. <clears throat> Ideally, you're above or below the knee. Wherever you're at, squeeze to center. Hug in. Find that core strength and grow from there. Root to rise, grow your branches. Soft jaw. Soft tongue, blossom out your fingers, relax the shoulders. Long spine, lengthening in both directions. Soft gaze, deep, full breaths. Again, stay here as you are, or a little dancing in the wind. Maybe just that lift of your heart, or once you feel steady, imagine your tree and see about closing the eyes. Oh, yay for all the trees in our lives. Thank you, trees. <clears throat> Stay in that windy dance or squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to center, lift and spiral towards the bent knee, right hand to that side, left hand behind you, hug in, lengthen tall and look back, deep full breaths. Stay as you like, reset on the earth as needed. Maybe come back for that hip opener. Ankle over knee, flex the foot strong. Sink low. Hands to heads of femurs, press back, long spine. Elbows to ankle and knee, seat low. Jaw soft. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. Take your time once you're complete there, hug it in, lift up, and let's just be like a little toadstool here or some such thing. A little stump, hips back, fingers forward. <sighs> Breathe, relax. All right, as you're ready, we're gonna 
Find a little bird in our tree for a moment here at the front of your mat, froggy up as needed, and then lift the knees up high onto your triceps. Squeeze knees into triceps, press resist back so the shoulders and chest stay wide. Claw your fingertips, inhale, look forward, and as you exhale, shift forward. Squeeze, squeeze the knees, pick up one set of toes, maybe both, try to touch them to each other. Keep looking forward, a couple more breaths. Finding that crow power, big inhale as you exhale, maybe fly the legs back, plank pose, top of push up. Let's call it fallen tree today. So we've got a little, well, not all the way fallen tree, still rooted. I'm sure you've seen that in the forest where a tree is just kind of laying down, but, or it's been blown out by lightning, but there's still a couple roots hanging on and all this sprouting happening out of it. All of this continued abundance of foliage. And breathe your steadiness here. Two more breaths. Inhale, shifting forward, slow like tree, lower, five, four, three, two, one. And hands under shoulders, pull back with your hands, elbows and shoulders on the back, and press strongly down through your pubic bone and sacrum. Lengthen forward, drag your heart forward. Breathe here, maybe that's an edge. <clears throat> Maybe inhale, root down, lift up a little higher. Lengthen forward and back down. Follow your breath in and out of cobra. Breathing a little snake energy through your tree. Or just holding steady at the edge of cobra. Couple more breaths. Press back into a little rock. Child's pose, we'll pause in child's pose. Give your tail a little wiggle there. Breathe your lower back. <clears throat> Breathe your connection to earth. Sense in or imagine into that hum of communication underground, all the roots of the trees and the mycelia, the bees eating off the sprouts and blossoms of flowers growing all that we need to live here on this planet and join in that if you would like the hum of a communication or simply breathe these breaths or simply regular breaths Make your hands wide as your shoulders spread those fingers and root down into those roots out in front of you. Give a little pull on the roots and grow yourself up onto all fours. Turn your toes under, root down there and grow your hips up and back. Down dog in some practices called a mountain pose. Lift through that peak of your mountain and just let a flow come down your legs and your spine like water falls out through your legs and your neck and your head breath full body strong mountain root down with your weight with your strength and lift up with your lightness with your power to the sky and breathe waterfalls down your spine and your legs a few more breaths Let's 
step our big toes together and from this mountain shape and we'll play with the way so many things grow and sprout and unfurl as spirals. So pivot, knees and toes to one side, hips to the left and spiral your spine. Sink low, exhale, little spring action. Inhale, straighten the legs and pivot through center to the other side. Exhale, spiral and spring low there. Inhale, legs and out and spiral through center, side to side, a couple more each side. And then spiral on back to the outside of that right foot, right hand, Vashistasana or side plank pose, maybe a side lying tree here over a nice little stream. You have become a bridge for creatures. Scoop the shoulder blades down, lengthen out, breathful here. If you would like, you could bring the bottom knee to the floor. You could use your top foot as a kickstand. You could be on the bottom forearm. Lots of variations. You just want that bottom landing point to be a little forward of the shoulder so that shoulder blades can scoop down. Stay there or maybe pick up that top knee and land your foot for riksha or tree pose here inside plank. Squeeze in, lengthen out. You're welcome to grow that tree and hold on to the foot, extend the leg, any variations, couple more breaths. Maybe keep that tree, squeeze, squeeze to center and bring the hand forward and back to the floor. Pivot into a tree plank. What? Yep, it's a thing. Okay, so here, tree plank holding steady or maybe a shift forward, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, tree cobra, up dog, what? Yep, and exhale, up and back to your mountain. Grow that leg to the sky and foot down. Walk it out or rest in down dog or child's pose. And I just switched directions here for the camera. Breathful as you are, or inhale, stretch back, big toes touch, and following that spiraling breath, hugging into that seed and unspiraling it, growing. Breathe your intention, your yes. See it fully realized, growing, sprouting, blossoming out through your body, mind, your life, your offering to the world. And take your time, stay in this twisting dance as you like, or flow it on over, left foot, left hand, scoop that shoulder blade down, lengthen your spine out, slide the ears back over the shoulders, breathful at your edge here, modify as needed to support yourself, or maybe put a tree on it, picking that top foot up, bringing it to the upper inner thigh or wherever it goes best, squeeze to center, any variations of the top arm and the leg. Last breath or two. Full body breath. Keep that squeeze to center or unwind as needed and pivot back into a plank pose with your tree. Find the steadiness of breath. Inhale and shift forward a bit. Follow any exhale down into Chaturanga. Up dog. And back to down dog, releasing the tree as you like, stretch the leg back. And then bring both feet down and walk your feet forward to your hands. Root down into your feet, hug your head or hold your elbows or just shake your hands out as you like. Relax the neck and breathe into your earth body, welcoming sky body into your back body. Feeling your lightness, your connection to your environment, to the real world, to the natural world, to the longer lasting, more true and wise world that yeah, can just be such a savior in these times of chaos and uncertainty and messy, messy humanity. 
Thank you, trees. Thank you, beautiful earth. Ah, thank you, breath of sky. Thank you for clear skies today in Northern California. Yes. Hug and root into your roots. Press into the earth. Root to rise. Roll up. Eyes inspired. Fly up and take your time coming to standing. Exhale, arms down. Inhale and gather up. Exhale and center and focus. Caress into the palms, shoulders on the back. Lift your heart to the hands, breathe and repeat your yes, I am. Just in honor of the name of this pose and our tree full practice today, I want to invite you one last time into tree, pour the weight into that right leg, slide the left heel up and press thigh and foot together, squeeze to center. We're going to take both side bends here. So slide that right arm across, push down into the head of that left femur and left arm up and over. And if this is really easy for you on a little more opening, you could take a variation of tree here pretty much and pull that foot up into the groin crease and let your knee drop down. So that's a little deeper or a lot deeper. You could hold your foot with the other hand or you could grow that arm to the sky. Again, you could hold with the same hand and play, rooting down there and reaching up and over, side bend. Which is pretty wacky, I know. Let's see what's there for you. Let it be interesting. Maybe you stay there, you come out and rest. You can come back to ankle over knee as we did last time, or slide all the way around that top leg and top arm the same give yourself a big hug you could stay with the hug of the arms or spiral eagle arms arms spiral all the way around each other and then palms together or hold your thumbs back of the palms together elbows up shoulders down squeeze 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 sink it in sink it in squeeze 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 sink as low as you can again you're lengthening the spine in both directions Squeeze all the breath out. Couple more breaths. If you can, hook the arms over the knee. Follow any inhale, unwind, standing split. Stay in standing split or walk the hands forward. Inhale and exhale. Little pulls from the top leg, hops, squeezing inner thighs towards handstand. And forward fold. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, hug in. Root to rise. Roll or fly up. Open wide. Gather up. Exhale, center and focus in. Press into the palms. Lift your heart. Pour the weight into that left leg or your second side. Slide the right foot up. Second side again. Tree. Squeeze to midline. Hug strong. Tall spine, soft jaw, breathful body. And again, maybe here, just playing with the side bend, sliding that left arm across, push into the right, uh, push that leg down and lift that right arm up and over. Stay there, or options, maybe squeezing to midline, still strong core. Bring that foot up into your groin crease. Knee down, you could hold that foot with the opposite arm. Hug in, play here. Or hug in with that same arm. And this side has got more opening happening, so we'll add to that and go into the side bend. Your variation, play with it. Find what's there. Curious tree body today. And follow any exhale to come back to center, spiral that leg around, same leg and armor on top, elbows up, shoulders down, hands away from the face, squeeze into eagle, squeeze, 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 sink low, 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 low. all the way down.
Following the inhale to unwind, keeping that hug to core. Exhale, pressing all the way back into standing split. Push up through that standing leg. Stay bowed in or walk the hands forward and pulse onto tiptoes or little hops toward handstand, pulling that back foot up into the core. And to your stance, pause, bow in, hugging into your trunk. Step those feet wide and root down into your hips, Malasana Yogic Squat. Back to the roots here. Weight back into your seat. Come to sit down. Hug the knees into your chest. You could just pause here, gathering up in a little tuck. Thank you, body. Or play here. Hug into your knees, lift up. Seed. Spur out. Picking, you could hug into the legs, lift the feet up, lift your chest up. Stay here in this sprout, or arms could come out, maybe legs extend. Wherever you're at, keep lifting sternum. Lift your heart, lift your heart, lift your heart. And then blossom, maybe arms up, legs up, or arms down, legs wide, wherever you're at. And we're gonna play with that four more times. Seed, full breath. Sprout, full breath, blossom, full breath. Please find your variations, holding the earth or the legs wherever you need to, to stay balanced with a lift of the heart. Two more. Seed, breathe your seed, imagine into that intention and you're blossoming out from that intention. Last set. Feet together, knees wide. Pull into your ankles. Lift the lower back and lift your heart. Butterfly your knees and deep full breaths here. <sighs> Stay here, or maybe take hold of your thighs, put the flesh of your thighs and sit bones back behind you. You might want to sit up onto a pillow or a block to do this. You can really get the bowl of the pelvis to roll forward. Press into the thighs, lift your heart, and lengthen forward. Little fallen leaf here, if you will. Elbows into shins, length and lengthen forward. Reach your heart forward, and then bow in. You could put a block there, or stack up elbows, or fists, or whatever you need to, to rest the forehead here and breathe your spine long and give yourself to the earth imagine here just melting letting go of anything no longer serving you like the leaves of autumn falling away to become compost for the new life that you're growing and feeding Last breath or two. And drape up. And as you're ready, pull the knees together. 
let's come into a little bridge. So just moving yourself onto your back body, hips underneath the uh, knees, heels underneath your knees, that's it. Hips on the floor, elbows alongside of your body, spreading the fingers to the sky, palms face one another, press into the elbows, squeeze the shoulders on the back, lift your chin, lift your chest, puff up with breath. And thank you too to the fallen trees that hold us up to become bridges, to become supports along the path, to become support for new life. All oh, the things that a faded tree will feed. It's astounding. Breathing here or clasp your hands, work your shoulders on your back in the edge of back bend. Another five or six breaths. Find those rooting points. Let them be anchored strongly to blossom and grow your heart, your hips, your opening to the sky. Last breath or two. Big inhale, puffing up the chest as you exhale, release your hands and ripple on down. Hug into your knees and give a little rock into your spine. Breathe, breathe, breathe that strong, long length of spine. <sighs> and I want to invite you to come into any twist that feels right for you. Otherwise, of course, today we're going to do twisted root. For twisted root, extend the left leg long as you hug your right knee into the chest. I'm going to tilt the camera down a bit. Or a lot. You can see the feet, powdered feet marks on my floor. All right. And yeah, we're at Burning Man. Okay. Hugging that right knee in. We're going to just rock into the hip a moment. And then go ahead and draw that right leg across body. You can stay holding the knee, or maybe you could hold the ankle, shin, or foot. You could stay there, shift that top hip down, lengthen the waist, and open up, turning your head to look away from that leg. Simple. Or reach down for the bottom foot, a little more twisted, and kick through both feet. Bottom knee is bent. Lift and turn your head onto that same side as the top leg. So right leg's on top, right ears to the floor. And breathe that deep twist. Breath in the nose. And breath out the mouth. <sighs> Last breath or two here. Again, windy breaths or bees breath can be extra great for tuning that vagus nerve and really grounding your nervous system. And take your time coming back, just unfurl your legs, come back to center, hug in. Find your spine, re-neutralize there. And then take your knees cross body to your other side. Excuse me, we did that different on the other side. Extend the right leg out or the opposite leg out and take the about to be top knee over to the side. Stay bent knee or reach down for that foot or shin or ankle, whatever you could get a hold of. Use that top hand to encourage the hip down and lengthen that top side body. Arm up and then open and breathe here in your twist or bend the bottom knee. 
reach down for ankle or foot and kick back, kick through both feet, lengthen the spine, lift and turn the head as far as you can onto that left or top leg side here. Deep full breaths in the nose and out your mouth. as you like or unwind come on back to center and again hug into that seed of yourself many variations making your way towards your final resting place uh, it could be shavasana fully laying down tree where you're beginning to grow mushrooms and moss and all the sweet stuff as you come to rest listen in as you take your last movements and your last intentional breaths and breathe and repeat your mantra your intention your yes to life there's any busyness or resistance there inhale and hug hug muscles to bones and exhale uh, let go give your body to the earth and open your heart and mind to the sky the orchard by mary oliver I have dreamed of accomplishment. I have fed ambition. I have traded nights of sleep for a length of work. Lo, and I have discovered how soft bloom turns to green fruit, which turns to sweet fruit. Lo, and I have discovered all winds blow cold at last, and the leaves so pretty, so many vanish in the great black packet of time, in the great black packet of ambition and the ripeness of the apple is its downfall. Yeah, kind of melancholic, but so beautiful, honoring the autumn, the turning, the fall, letting go of things that are complete, and allowing these completions, they shed things to turn into compost, feel that rich compost of the earth beneath you, that black darkness of the earth nourishing, nourishing your new beginnings, the new beginnings upon this earth. Breathe and repeat your heart's yes, I am.
please rest as long as you like or are able in your final resting shape. Or move slowly, drawing that earth energy up to begin to sprout and grow yourself into any comfortable meditative seats, into any shapes on the way as you unfurl back into your day, maybe being more human, maybe not. And take pause in any easy seat or your resting shape and breathe and remember you're an integral connection to the earth, to the trees, to that which supports our breath, to that which supports the growth of our foods, our nourishment, our shelter and protection. Remember yourself as an integral part of the beauty all around us. Beauty and the wonder of you all around us. Remember yourself connected to your beloveds embodied and not throughout all time and space. Connected by the roots and mycelium beneath you. Connected by the song of the air, the wind, and the dance of the leaves. Again, please stay resting in meditation or any shape as long as you like, simply observing your tree becoming human, your humanity remembering your connection to the natural world all around you. And if you will, take a little bow into your heart, maybe bringing your hands to your body and feel your human body, your softness, your strength, your heartbeat, your earth, your fire, your water, your air. Your spirit resounding outward with your yes to life. Exhale and empty. Inhale your yes. If you will, join me. One great Om. Oh. Namaste. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Thank you, lovely Ents. Thank you, beautiful tree people, for practicing, for practicing with me, for your patronage, for your donations, for your dance, for your smile, for your song. Drink lots of water and breathe deep because you can today. Ah, have a wonderful day. I'll be here on the Zoom for a moment if anybody wants to check in, check out. Otherwise, much love. Bye.